Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to present you the Skin CMS. Um, we have officially launched it uh, starting today. We used to have a package pricing. So basically it means you pay 49 euros for one mapping. It's a one-time fee, no monthly subscriptions, anything like that. You pay it once and you have it for the rest of your life. Um, you get in one mapping, you get 100 records. That's quite a lot. Um, like 100 pop-ups is, is, is a lot of things to do. So we think this is a pretty big package. And with this, you get everything. So there's no limitations in features or anything like that. So that means that what we previously called attributes is now called conditional styling. Um, there is, we, we can have the, the skin from desktop as well as mobile and sync. And content is instantly updated after a simple refresh of the page, which is insanely fast. Because I've been working myself with a lot of automation tools and a lot of automation tools with other softwares that are syncing things are quite slow in these things. And this is just a refresh and it's there. It's, it's incredibly fast with skin CMS. And so when you have this, uh, just in case if you have a very large project, you have 200, 300, 500 um, uh, records. Uh, if, let's say you have 500 records, then you have uh, one mapping of 100 records plus four mapping extensions. That's how the pricing works. Very basic um, and it's extremely difficult to get things simple. And it's very simple to make things very difficult. I know, I know. So this is what we came up with. What I would like to present you now is like, okay, we have this pricing, but we also know that sometimes you just got to get into things, right? So for that reason, we've created the free mapping, which has up to 10 records. Free for also the rest of your life, as long as you want it, however you want to use it, including all the epic features such as conditional styling. So you can create your account and you can get started for free. And here's the setup thing. So to create everything and make it all work, there's five steps needed. Step one is creating the Airtable base. Step two, generating the Airtable API tokens. Create mapping to get the 3D Vista setup code. Add it in 3D Vista and adding triggers. That's it. So I'll show you how to get on with that. So give the base and table a name. Add a formula field, call the field 3D Vista trigger and add the following formula. So we're going to copy paste this already. Um, and inside Airtable, I've already created the base, I've already created the table, and I already got some content in here, but you don't need to have content in here. Like the only thing you gotta do is like create something and add a new field, call it free Vista trigger. Okay, take a formula, hit paste, and create fields. That's it. So now we got step one complete. Now we need to generate two Airtable API tokens. One for the skin CMS mapper with schema basis read and one for free Vista data records read. Um, so how we're gonna do that is we go over to that link, generate personal access tokens. Um, and here we're gonna call this something uh, mapper. Um, I already added the access to the specific base that we're gonna use. And in the mapper, we need schema basis read. So we go over here, schema basis read. And then we say generate token. We save that somewhere. Um, and we're gonna use that later on. And then over here, one for 3D Vista data records read. So then you create a new one, call that 3D Vista data records read. And then you hit generate token also with the same access. So then you have those two tokens. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill out the mappings. So let's create a new mapping. I'm going to give this a name, whatever you like. Then over here, we're going to paste in the two uh, API tokens we just generated. The Airtable base ID we get from here and the name is 360 cameras. Hit 
hit save and connect. And then over here, we're going to map those with 3D Vista. So, right over here, I already created a little info slide for placeholders. And so the image over here, it's called the image, taking this and we're placing that in here. Specifications over there, description, description, title and title. No, oh, I call it here title two, but I'll call this title, doesn't matter. And then we've got it. Say save mapping. We go to the 3D Vista setup, we copy this code, we go to the main viewer, execute JavaScript on initialization, and here we paste in the code. Pasting in the code was step number four. Um, so now the only last thing we gotta do is adding in the triggers. So we go back to Airtable over here. Um, as you can see, I've already added this formula. We just copy whatever is in here for Insta360 X3. And I'm going to hide this in the panoramas, in the hotspots, we go to hotspot one. So we have already an action on it to uh, show the info slide, which is just the placeholders. But we also need to present the information from Airtable inside the placeholder. And for that, we add an action execute javascript on click we trigger this record done i did the same already for hotspot 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and they already have the execute javascript action to it and so now we preview it and it's working so we have the gopro max we have the insta 360 x3 and the Kandao, etc. etc. Now, uh, because this is a pretty mm, it's it's pretty wide right now, so we could better add like a maximum width to this so that everything looks a bit better. So we go into 3D Vista, do some little tweaking on the skin. Right now, the width. Uh, is max width, let's put that to 300 pixels. Preview this again, make it look a little bit better. And as you can see, now it looks much better. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Now, let's say we want to replace all the content. So right now we have all these 360 cameras in there. Uh, 3CO, Kandao, Insta, etc. But let's replace everything and uh, with, with this kind of information over here. So we just take all this information. In this one, I do not have the specifications, so I'm going to be hiding the specifications for this. Select those three fields and just paste all the new information to it. We're going right now to here, refresh the tour. And right now we've got all the content replaced that quickly. I mean, it's still showing up the specifications, um, but that's because we've been hiding the field. So let me just uh, go over here and just delete it. Okay, so right now this is undefined. We go into 3D Vista and we hide the specifications here as well. We move the description a little bit higher and we preview again. Now, it looks much better when we hide this by default. So let's hide this and preview. So look around select one of them and it's replaced so it goes that quickly we want to put it back to 360 cameras ah, let's just do it right let's just do it one more time um, we can just command z our way out of this 
And there we go. Put it back. Go Pro Max. And so now we're talking 360 cameras again. So that is how quickly you can swap out content, make it all work. This whole video has been done with only seven records. Um, those seven plins over here. This uh, template that you're looking at right here is called Aquascape 360. It's made by One Step North, uh, which can be uh, bought on the market. So yeah, you can do quite a lot of things with the free mapping of Skin CMS. Uh, so I'm hoping that you guys are gonna enjoy this a lot, uh, play a lot around with this, uh, because we think this is supposed to be in many people's hands. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching uh, and have a great day.